Hello learners, welcome back to Constant Learners. The topic for today is Cardinality. Cardinality is mainly associated with a relationship between entities. But before we begin, I'd like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a video. All right, we know that in a database, there are multiple entities, right? And some of these entities may be related to one another. Cardinality defines how these entities are related to one another and how many times does an entity from an entity set participate in the relationship set. Like here we have two entity sets, set1 and set2. In set1 we have four entities f1, f2, f3 and f4 and in set2 we have three entities f5, f6 and f7. Now f1, this entity is connected to f6 and f7 thus establishing a one to many relationship right then f2 this entity f2 in set 1 is linked to this entity f5 in set 2 thus establishing a one to one relationship f4 is linked to f7 for f7 we can say that it is a many to one relationship because here two entities that is f1 and f4 are connected to the single entity f7 so it is establishing a many to one relationship all right this is nothing but cardinality it defines how these entities in set 1 are related to the entities in set 2 so depending upon the type of relationship between the entities we get four types of cardinalities one to one mapping one to many many to one and many to many but in this video we will only discuss the first type of cardinality mapping that is one to one mapping now one to one mapping is denoted by the symbol one is to one all right now in the data models video we've already discussed entity relationship model and relational model and how they complement each other Right? And to understand cardinality also, we are going to use both these models to understand how the entities can be related to one another. All right. Here we have the ER model. This is the ER model. In the ER model, we have two entities, students and essays. The student's entity has attributes student ID, student name and student department. And essays entity has the attributes essay ID, essay topic and subject. Now, how are these entities related to one another? The student entity and the essays entity. Every student has to write an essay. All right. But the catch here is that every student will write one essay and the essay topic has to be unique. All right. That is no two students can share the same essay topic. Only then one is to one relationship will be established that is one student is corresponding to or is writing one essay and the essay topic cannot be repeated let's understand how this one is to one relationship is established using relational model here we have two tables the students table and the essays table the attributes are same student id name and department essay id topic and subject now in this case student id that is sid is the primary key because every relation will have a primary key which is unique and not null correct primary key has to be unique and not null so here in students table sid is the primary key and in essays table eid is the primary key when we studied keys we discussed the importance of primary key in building a relationship between two tables right now here we have to build the relationship between the students and the essays table because every student has to write one essay and the relationship has to be a one is to one type of relationship so here also we are going to use these two primary keys that is sid and eid to build the relationship between these two entities right since primary key is very important in building a relationship between two entities, we are using both these primary keys, that is SID from the students table and EID from the 
essays table to build a new relationship table. Now this relationship table cannot have two primary keys, right? This is a primary key in its own table and this is a primary key in its own table, right? But there has to be one primary key in this table. So we will have to assume one attribute as the primary key, right? Either SID can become the primary key or EID can become the primary key, right? If SID is the primary key, then in that case, EID will act as the foreign key. We have already discussed this in the previous foreign keys video that a primary key attribute, when it is used in another table, it acts as the foreign key. But we can also declare EID as the primary key. Then in that case, SID will act as the foreign key. So we can select either SID as the primary key or EID as the primary key. First, let's consider student ID as the primary key. Then in that case, EID will act as a foreign key. Now, since SID here is the primary key, it will definitely be unique and not null. Now, in both these tables, that is the students table and the relationship table, the primary key is the same. Here also SID is the primary key. Here also SID is the primary key. So, we can merge these two tables together to make a single table wherein SID will be the primary key and EID will be the foreign key, right? So, we have merged the students table and the relationship table by choosing SID as the primary key and EID as the foreign key. We could also select EID as the primary key. Then in that case, SID would act as the foreign key, right? And this relationship and essay table could be merged together to form a single table, wherein EID would be the primary key and SID would act as the foreign key. This is nothing but building the relationships between the entities. But how are we going to create a one is to one relationship, right? Now here, in this case, student S101 is working on essay E02, right? Here, 101 is going to E02, okay? So this is a one to one relationship, right? Student S102 is working on essay E03. So again, S102 is going to E03. No other student is going to E03. So again, here we have a one is to one relationship. Then student S103 is going to, is working on essay E01. There's only one single student who is working on essay E01. So again, we are getting a one is to one relationship. Since every student is working on a unique essay, we are building a one is to one relationship. All right. But what if student 101 was working on E02, that is essay E02. Here we are getting a one is to one relationship. But now this student S102 is also working on essay E03 and student 103 is also working on essay E03. That means two students are working on the same essay, right? Here, two students, this student and this student, both of them are going to the same essay. They're both working on the same essay. Thus, in this case, one is to one relationship is not being established, right? This is a many to one relationship because many students are going to the same essay, right? So this is a many to one relationship, but we have to build a one is to one relationship. So what do we conclude from this? See, primary key is naturally unique and it is also not null, correct? But in this case, to build a one is to one relationship, even the foreign key has to be unique, correct? When we studied foreign keys, we discussed that foreign keys can accept null values right previous video was on foreign keys i will link that video in the description box okay if you haven't watched it please watch it therein we discuss that foreign keys could accept null values and foreign keys may or may not be unique that means they could have unique values or they even could have repetitive or redundant data but to build a one-to-one -one relationship it is mandatory that foreign keys are unique 
because as we discussed if foreign key is not unique then one to one relationship cannot be established all right i hope that this was clear so what do we conclude about cardinality what do we understand about cardinality that cardinality is actually determining the uniqueness of an attribute of the columns right as keys play an important role in linking or relating the entities right so here when the foreign key is unique only then a one is to one relationship is being established right so high cardinality means more uniqueness right that is attribute is highly unique and low cardinality explains that there is a lot of redundant or repetitive data all right i hope that this was clear that is what is cardinality and how a one is to one relationship can be established in both er model and the relational model right that was all for this video in the next video we will be discussing one to many relationship i hope that basics of cardinality and building one to one relationships was very clear if it was please give this video a thumbs up share your thoughts in the comments section share this video with as many friends as you can subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for watching